I am standing outside of Camosun General Hospital, where a young woman has been fighting for her life. Jessica Burrows was admitted to the hospital 13 days ago with a severe case of H1N1. She was unable to breathe and not responding to conventional treatment. She was then placed on a machine called the ECMO, which has now given her a second chance at life. This is Jessica Burrows' story. Jessica Burrows is a 15-year-old girl who has been fighting for her life. She was admitted to the hospital just 13 days ago with a severe case of H1N1. This is how a machine saved her life. Jessica, can you please share your story? Yeah, um, it was probably two weeks ago now when I got the flu and I was feeling really dizzy and I had a really high fever and all of a sudden I couldn't, I couldn't breathe at all so my mom took me into the hospital and uh, I, I was given some antivirals and some other medications, but I really wasn't doing any better. So I went on a machine called the ECMO, and they, they put a two, big tube in my neck, and it connected me to the machine, and it, it gave me new blood. Uh, I think I was on it for about three days, and it's been a week now since I've been off the machine, and I feel like I have my life back, and ECMO saved my life. Thank you so much for sharing your incredible story with us. I'm here with Dr. Sharp, the physician who implemented the ECMO machine for Jessica Burrows. Thank you for joining me, Dr. Sharp. You're welcome. Can you please explain what the ECMO is? ECMO is an extracorporeal membrane oxygenation system. What it does is it removes oxygen, deoxygenated blood from the body, oxygenates it, and sends it back to the body. Thank you. Now, who receives this type of treatment? Well, this treatment was actually intended for preterm infants and neonates suffering from chronic hypoxia due to ARDS, meconium aspiration, and so on. But what we're seeing it used for now is patients suffering from the H1N1 virus, for instance. So are you telling me that every individual suffering with the virus will soon be placed on an ECMO machine? Uh, absolutely not. This is actually a last resort for patients. It's for patients who are not responding well to conventional therapies, ventilation, antibiotics, antivirals. Mm, I see. Now, I'm having trouble actually wrapping my mind around the idea. Can you please just further elaborate on how this machine works? Sure. Deoxygenated blood is taken from the body from the right side of the heart. It's put through a machine which takes away the carbon dioxide, replaces the oxygen, sends it back to the body, basically giving the lungs a rest. That is so fascinating. Like dialysis for the lungs. Very much so. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Shop, for sharing your knowledge with us. You're very welcome. About 800 to 1,300 patients are expected to be put on the ECMO machine during the 2009-2010 winter. From CCNS Victoria, I'm Gail Lindley. Back to you, Jim. <laughs>